We started the day with fog and low clouds, then saw clearing skies slowly as we went through the afternoon. Now tonight we'll have fair skies across the area and more patchy fog developing. So for Tuesday morning, you may start off with some of that reduced visibility, but then we'll have more sunshine as we go throughout our Tuesday afternoon. Into Wednesday, we really notice the return flow, the southerly winds boosting our temperatures the humidity. It'll be a little bit muggier outside and we may even have a few spotty showers developing in northern Georgia, inland portions of South Carolina, even maybe southwestern North Carolina, but we stay dry here in East Tennessee. Then as we go into the day on Thursday, we'll start to watch a frontal boundary that's going to be moving in from the west. Now I know it looks exciting when you see that line of showers and even a few rumbles of thunder back off to our west for early Thursday morning, but by the time that front gets here to East Tennessee, it's really going to be fizzling out and you can see that reflected with a seven day rainfall potential here. Heavy rain to the west, less and less and less as you move farther to the east. The timing for our rain chances here in East Tennessee will be overnight Thursday night and into the day on Friday. So I think you should be dry for your trick or treating plans Thursday evening. We'll have to keep our eyes on the progress of that front and if that rain can hold together until it gets here. For right now, that's our best chance of seeing some rain on our seven day forecast. So there are the climbing temperatures through the week back up near 80 degrees for our highs Wednesday and Thursday, warm and breezy for the trick or treaters on Halloween evening. Lows only near 60 for Friday morning, but then some slightly drier air moves in behind that front. Still, though, going to be warm for the first weekend of November for that ball football game Saturday and when we fall back into standard time on Sunday.